In this lesson, we will uh, look at uh, some of the basic operations on tensors. These are the operations that are more very frequently used in neural networks, but uh, it's quite easy with PyTorch. So the first operation that we will see is a uh, vector addition or subtraction. So let's say we have uh, a couple of vectors, each having three elements. So for performing a vector addition and subtraction, you should have uh, equal number of elements. So if we write v1 plus v2, so here we have an addition op operation. Then we will do element wise addition. So 1 is added to 1.5. So we write 1 plus 1.5 and this is equal to 2.5. Similarly for these two. So 2 minus 0 0.5 that is 1.5 and then 3 plus 1, 4. So the result should be a vector having the same number of elements which is uh, 2.5, 1.5 and 4. The same would be true for subtraction. You just need to uh, remove this plus with minus. Now let's see uh, how we can do it in PyTorch. So we create two tensors using torch.tensor and pass the elements. And then simply we write this plus symbol and you get a result as another tensor of the same dimension. And this is the res result. Uh, next uh, let's say we have vector multiplication with a scalar. Uh, so 3 and 1. So don't uh, these two vectors are different from that example. So don't get confused. Uh, now let's see uh, a vector multiplication with a scalar. So we have a vector 1, 2, 3. And if we multiply with a scalar 3, then all the elements are individually multiplied. So it becomes 3. 3 multiplied by 2, 6. 3 multiplied by 3, 9. Now we can uh, do it in PyTorch using this asterisk symbol for multiplication. And it's quite easy. Next, let's look at Hadamard product. So again, uh, Hadamard product is similar to uh, simple addition or subtraction of vectors. So uh, if you do Hadamard product of uh, two vectors, it just does element by element multiplication. So 1 multiplied by 1.5 is 1.5. 2 multiplied by minus 0.5, minus 1 and 3. So again, uh, it's the output is of the same dimension as both the input vectors. And in PyTorch, you simply create the two vectors of the same uh, shape and size. And you just use this multiplication symbol and you get a result, which is the Hadamard product of these two uh, vectors. Next, let's look at dot product. So it's different from Hadamard product in that uh, the result was of the same dimension as the input vectors. But in this case, in the case of dot product, we get a single number. In this case, in PyTorch, we will call it a tensor. If you want to uh, work with a Python item on this, Python number on this, you have to call that item function, which we had already seen. But if you do this dot product, you will get a value a vector, not a vector, a tensor, and whose value will be 1 multiplied by 1.5. First element multiplied by first element of second vector plus 2 multiplied by the second uh, element that is minus 0 0.5 plus 3 multiplied by 1. So this is 1.5 plus this is minus 1, so minus 1 plus 3. So this is uh, 3.5. So you will have a value like tensor uh, 3.5, something like this. So in PyTorch, if you want to do it, you have to use the torch dot dot function and you pass both the vectors v1 and v2 and you get the result. Next, let's see uh, what happens when we add a scalar to a vector. So a scalar has uh, just one element in it and one element and vector can be of any shape. So how can we add it? So it's simple. Uh, you, This scalar is treated as a vector of uh, same number of elements in it, but each one repeated. So it's equivalent to 333. This scalar 3, if added to this, behaves like as if it was 333. So this uh, phenomenon, phenomenon is called broadcasting and it's uh, there in the either one dimension, two dimension or even higher dimensions. I am just taking an example of 1D vectors. So now it's simple. 
3 is added to all the elements individually. So the result is 1 plus 3, 4, 2 plus 3, 5, 3 plus 3, 6. So this is the result. And doing it in PyTorch is very simple. You just do plus 3 to the vector and you get the result. Now let's uh, look at uh, the Colab notebook. So first let's create two vectors or two tensors rather. So now we have two uh, vectors. So what we will do? Their sum v1 plus v2, and then print v. Similarly, you can do subtraction also. And then it does element-wise subtraction. Now uh, let's uh, multiply a vector by a scalar so let's multiply v1 by 3 and then print v so all the elements are multiplied by 3 so 1 becomes 3 2 becomes 6 and 3 becomes 9 now we will do hadamard product so v1 multiplied by v2 and then print v so you will see that it's of the same uh, size exactly and uh, the, this does uh, element wise multiplication 1 multiplied by 1.5 2 multiplied by minus 1.5 is minus 3 and so on finally let's do uh, this dot product so the result is 4.5 so this is uh, 1.5, this is uh, minus uh, 3, so result is minus 1.5, then we have 6, 6 minus 1.5, 4.5. Finally we will add a constant to or a scalar constant to one of the vectors. So it does element wise addition, so it's 4, 5 and 6. So 4, 5 and 6. So uh, further we will look at uh, what functions we can perform on a tensor. So we can apply certain functions on uh, tensors as well and get another tensor as result. So we will see that in the next lesson.